Hi Scrappers, this is Johnny from your Paper Pantry, Tabasco 14 from both my eBay store, <clears throat> oh my goodness, and here on YouTube. Yes, 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 my cold, I thought I had beat it, I thought it was finally gone. Well, it came back with revenge, and not only that, I had the flu <sighs> issue this morning, and the bathroom is my best friend right now. <clears throat> I want just to show you really quickly the Your Paper Pantry swap that's going to be for the month of November that for the girls and the, um, the So Crafty Whatnots. Uh, it's under, oh golly, it's under For Your Home or For the Home or something. Um, they're doing a couple little switch-ups with names, so I'm a little confused. Anyway, these are really simple and easy, and um, what everyone will do, will everybody will make four different ornaments and send them in, and you'll get four different ones back. <clears throat> this is a picture of, of the ornaments, or some of them. These are Christmas trees, as you can see. Um, and I have this one almost finished. <clears throat> there you go. And the back is felt. The reason the back is felt on the Christmas tree is um, you can pink the edges, but this way here that material shows pretty on both sides. Um, so all I did is cut out a Christmas tree. I will have templates to all this. And I did sew this and then glued some trim to it. I am going to put beads on it here. I put a button on the top with a little thing to hang it and some beads at the bottom. And of course, I, as I said, I will put some beads. I'm not sure if I'm going to just string them or if I will glue some beads on here to look like little ornaments. But this was, I swear to you, it was so fast and so easy. So this is this one. And let me just show you the size of the template so you can see. Um, so there's the size, and here's the template. There's the bigger one for the back, for the felt, and here's the smaller one that fits inside. And I will have these on your paper pantry. Then I cut out a smaller one. I haven't made it yet because you can tell I'm just under the weather. But here is the other one. <clears throat> sorry, 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 sorry. There you go. And it's not put together yet. And this is the template for it again just a little bit harder to work with to stuff your stuffing inside then another one will be you can make your choice you can make all four of them in Christmas trees and make them all the same or different with different fabrics there's so many wonderful new Christmas fabrics out now um, if you don't want to make trees or you just want to make one tree this is a bell and um, you can use the felt on the back again if you want to. Uh, the bell probably all in one size and you can so you can actually use fabrics the same on each side or different and then putting a little hanger on it. This was so simple. Then there's a star and this is the star and again there it's a smaller one if you wanted to use felt and, and glue it this way and sew it or if you just wanted to use the bigger one or the smaller one and lastly um, is a little Christmas stocking and this is so cute what I'm going to do with mine and there's the bigger size and the smaller size what I'm going to do with mine actually is as you see there's lines here I am going to stitch different fabric so it will look um, like a quilted um, one when it's finished. So easy peasy. So just quickly to let you know, this is it again. All you're going to do is trace your felt or in your fabric or both fabrics, cut them out, and either glue the very edges or stitch them. You can hand stitch them. You can use embroidery floss if you want to. You can use like a over the edge blanket stitch whatever you want to do. If you're going to glue it, you probably want to use the bigger one because it's a little bit easier. Maybe even the bell shape and the Christmas stocking shape because that will be easier to do. Then I just stuffed a little bit of fiber fill into the bottom and pushed it up with a pencil. And um, <clears throat> then on this one I just glued some trim down the edges and across the bottom. And again I just put a little ribbon with a button. I did put a button on both sides. 
but you can do it any way you want. You can decorate both sides if you like. But again, this will be, you will make four different ornaments out of felt and fabric or just fabric or just felt. You can put beads all over the front. You can string them as in this picture here. These are actually strong and then just, you know, with a stitch and sewn in, add another button, um, bead and then stitch down. Very, very easy. And I will have some more completed in a couple of days, I hope. But anyway, this is the November Your Paper Pantry swap that I will be hosting. So I hope you'll go over and check it out. Um, I wanted to show you real quickly. I've, I've shipped off or mailed off my swap for uh, Michelle Callista, the magnet close pins that she had for October. But I made a couple of extra because um, I wanted to include them in one of my swaps for the girls that swap in my group. So I just wanted to show you some of the ones that are still left over that I did. And what it was is you were supposed to decorate a clothespin and then put a magnet on the back, and um, which is, this is here. And I what I did for everyone is I actually made two clothespins the regular size, and then I made one of these minis. There you can see the... Oh magnet on the back and so this is one of them <clears throat> here is another one the other ones have already been shipped out to Michelle but these are like I said some leftovers and this just has bling and a bow this one has just the little um, roses on the little tiny one so everybody will get two and then this one here I painted the um, clothespin pink and decoupaged a napkin and then put a flower here and a polka dot bow here and then this is the um, little clothespin this one just has bling there you go very cute and this was Michelle's um, clothespin magnet swap on your paper pantry for November so check her out I don't know what she's gonna have for um, I mean for October this was October I'm not sure what November will be and I will be uh, taking off the month of December in your paper pantry so I won't be hosting a December swap be back in January um, <clears throat> there's supposed to be another swap I'm gonna be hosting it's gonna be called the ornament swap and it'll be a year-round swap it'll not only be Christmas ornaments but it'll be other little items and this will be probably the very first month <clears throat> here you go if you can see this what this was is just a styrofoam ball and it's got flowers uh, glued to it the bottom I have other ones that have flowers all the way real fat and then around the top and inside is just a ribbon to hang it and a couple of tassels of uh, some beads this will most likely be the first swap for um, January in the new ornament swap in your paper pantry. You can uh, leave me a message here or go to your paper pantry for some more information. But it's going to be cute and fun um, every month just coming up with some cute different ideas. Okay everybody, I am um, going to go take some meds right now and uh, go back and lay down for a bit I think because this is just this cold flu combination just does not want to go away so pink delicious hugs please guys love each other try not to thumbs down um love is easier than hate pink delicious hugs to you all ciao ciao ciao